Hello everyone. This is uh, our vendor sales service portal. This is a add-on for SAP Business One. What does this add-on do? This add-on allows us to integrate our vendors with SAP Business One in the real time. It allows you to integrate the purchase in purchase order information, invoice information, go receipt information, debit note information, payment history, account information, TDS information, tax information, etc. So all those different documents between SAP Business One and the vendor of our company can seamlessly be integrated. This is the login screen. So when we log into SAP Business One and when we log into SAP Vendor Sales Service Portal to whomsoever you want to give the access, they will see this screen where they will have an email address and password. So every vendor and the contact person in the vendor will have access to the vendor sales service portal. In that, we also have created a provision of OTP as well. So this is another layer of uh, security in which along with the email address, password, we can also enter OTP information as well. So there is a security layer to make sure that only authorized users and vendors can access the information as required. When the vendor login into vendor portal, and a screen like this will appear to them. In this, you will see the name of the vendor, user information, balance information, and address information, which basically means this is the information about the vendor master. This is the information that how much the balance this vendor has. And this is the information which just which will tell us information about their address and tax information, etc. And then here we have information about open documents, closed document, cancel document, and other information. In open documents, you can see the information about open purchase orders, open go receipt purchase order, GRPO or go receipt, and vendor invoice. If the document which has been closed, so vendor can see that they're closed PO, they're closed GR, they're closed vendor invoices. They can also see canceled document as well. So if some of their documents has been canceled, so they can see those cancelled document also. Along with that, they can also see debit notes, payment advice, tax information also. So lot almost entire information as required by the vendor can seamlessly be integrated with the vendor portal and uh, with the SAP business one in the real time. Vendor will also have an access to basically check the account information so they can put this date to this date and on the basis of the date vendor can see their account statement so what is the status what is the open how much is closed so entire account information as per the period vendor can see in the vendor portal another thing which vendor can do is basically about purchase order so the when you create a purchase order in SAP Business One, that purchase order will appear in the vendor portal. So this is the, by a date and document number, amount, balance. And then if vendor want, vendor can also download that purchase order in the PDF form as well. So they can download that information. Also, vendor can see purchase order closed. So if the purchase order get closed, 
after the purchase order cycle has been uh, completed the vendor can get a list of their purchase order the date document number amount and if they want to download their closed purchase order then there is a facility to download closed purchase order in the pdf form and then after purchase order go to seat so once the go to seat is done in the system open so then we can see the open good seat information, the list of good seat documents. So There's a good seat document, which PO it is, what is the amount, what is the balance. We can also see good seat PO closed. Closed basically means how many good seat document has been closed as a part of process. So that is called Gurusit closed document. Then we can also see Gurusit doc purchase order which has cancelled. So whatever the GRPO document which has been cancelled, those document can also be stored in SAP vendor portal as well. So in the vendor portal, if there is a cancelled Gurusit PO GRPO that can also be seen in this document. The next information which vendor can see is their vendor invoice. So vendor invoice, when it has been actually uh, entered in a SAP system, so that information can be basically seen in the SAP as well. So where you can see all open vendor invoice by the date, by the document number, reference, base number, amount, and how much is the balance. And if AP invoice has been closed, so vendor can see their closed AP invoice as well. And if a vendor invoice document has been closed, so vendor can also see the list of vendor invoice which are being canceled or closed by date, by document, reference number, base comment, and that. So they can also see that information also. David note. If there is any debit note which has been posted, for example, in case of returns or some other scenarios, so any information about debit note can also be visible here as well, in which your date, document number, what the reference, and it based upon which request and what happened, how much amount, and if they want to download this debit note, then vendor can download this debit note as well. Then next is payment advice. So this is payment information. So by date, by document number, by amount, then vendor can download their payment information. Tax information. So at the end of the day, when there is a tax, and if the vendor wanted to download their tax information, then vendor can also download their certificate, their tax certificates or TDS certificate, so this is a, in, in the PDF form. So, and this is the download button. So using download button. So tech certificate or TDS certificate vendor can download periodically as per their choice. And uh, some part of time for the security, if we need to change password, there is a person who is operating, has left, is no more working with the vendor company, then we can change the password and can reset up the new password. This is admin login. So admin uh, have ability to change password, manage other different functions. And uh, admin can also upload multiple TDS certificate as well. So they can upload certificate in, and then that certificate would be available to the vendors. So thank you very much. So this is a quick uh, presentation about uh, this vendor portal and uh, we will be happy to do more presentation thank you